Now that we finished our order confirmation flow and our setup through the inbound webhook, it is time to also set up our abandoned card flow as well to be able to recover card items and increase your conversions that way. The setup is pretty similar towards the order confirmation where we need to set up another webhook inside of the backend of Shopify and then get all the necessary data from that webhook into the chatbot. So the way to do this is by going back towards Shopify and inside of Shopify we are going to create another webhook. This webhook will be a draft of an order creation. Now we need another URL, so let's head back over to UChat to create another inbound webhook. We can do so under the tools tab, inbound webhooks, and press the new inbound webhook. Let's name this Shopify and let's press save. From here, let's press the edit button. And now let's copy over this webhook URL. Then let's head over back towards Shopify and insert this webhook URL. Let's choose the format JSON and the webhook just the latest version and let's press save. Now we have another webhook upon draft order creation. Soon as this draft order has been created, we can wait for a fixed amount of period before checking if a user has paid yes or no. If we take a look inside the shopping flow itself, let's save this. Let's head back towards the shop flow itself. And if we take a look at the place where we are going to create a draft order, that will be basically this place, right? So soon as a user wants to check out, they can create this draft order. Then a checkout link will be created and a user can go towards the Shopify payment page to fulfill the order. Now, as soon as this draft order has been created, the webhook inside of UChat will trigger. So let's simulate this option. Let's go with publish. Let's go and add a few items to our cart. Now we have come towards the place that we can check out. If we press the checkout button, a draft order will be created. So we need to make sure that we are receiving the data inside of the UChat webhook. URL. So in order to do so, let's make sure that the URL has been set up properly. As you can see inside the Shopify backend, we have the URL set up. Now we can go back towards UChat, back towards the tools tab, go towards the inbound webhook and press edit. Now we can listen to the data payload. Soon as I press the checkout, a draft order should be created and we should receive data. So let's see if this works. If we go towards Messenger, in this case, let's press checkout. We should get a checkout link. There we go. And now in the meantime, a webhook from Shopify should be triggered over towards UChat. So if we go back, if we press the button done, we should receive data. So let's see if this works. As you can see, a draft order has been created. And here we have the camera that we just added towards our cart and checkout. If we preview this payload by just pressing the preview payload, now we are able to map all the data that we, that we need to. The data that we mainly need, and basically the only thing that we need is to identify the user is by going with the node section because that contains the user NS ID that we add when a draft order has been created. We can just copy this JSON path and then add it towards the user NS section for lookup values. If we paste this, we should be able to look up the user. And basically that is all that we need for the abandoned checkout, right? So the thing that we just need to do now is just press save. And now we need to put this webhook to active. Choose the subflow. In this case, the shopflow will be Shopify template abandoned card flow. There we go. And now we should have this complete setup in place. So if I'm going to check out right now and create another order, we will wait for a particular 
We will wait for a particular period of time, which you can basically customize to your own liking. So if we go towards the flow now, you will see that we will wait for 10 minutes in this case. Then we will continue to see if the user has paid for the order, because if so, they should have this tag, order status paid, right? We added that in the previous video. So if we go towards the order confirmation, you will see that we add the order status paid as soon as they receive this message. So for the create draft order, we are going to wait for 10 minutes to give the customer time to check out. Then we're going to check if they did pay. If so, the other webhook of the order creation should be triggered and this tag should be applied. If not, we are going to give them a reminder. After this reminder, we're going to wait for another set period of time. And you can customize this totally to your own liking. For example, we set it towards one hour. Then go with another condition check to see if the tag has been applied now. If not, we, you can basically give a second reminder. And you can make a little bit of scarcity as well. As you notice, the call to action for the card has also been adjusted instead of just checkout. It's now save my card, basically letting the customer know that these items will not stay in the card forever. And if they want to check out, they can do so right here. So this is how you set up an abandoned card flow for your Shopify store inside of YouChat. In the next video, we will show you how you can set up an order fulfillment flow directly inside of YouChat as well.